Tonight, Governor Lamont is expressing some frustration about the lack of support from the federal government. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is standing by now with that part of our coverage tonight. Matthew? Yeah, Dennis, you know the trend of hospitalizations going down continues while the testing going up also continues. Now, this is a good thing. There are 1,877 people in the hospital right now. That is down by 70, and that is the biggest drop that we have seen so far to date. So these are good trends, but the CDC is looking for 14 straight days of this. In the meantime, our hot spots remain nursing homes and prisons. Susan Raff, she's going to dig into this later in the broadcast at 6 o'clock, showing the impact this is having on workers and the residents. And we learned today that FEMA is is now delivering more protective gear to every nursing home. Those shipments will be masks and gowns, and they're going to go out starting May 1st. But there is still frustration from the governors all over the country about the federal aid, because we are seeing that federal aid going out to the nursing homes, to the businesses, and that is critical to keeping patients and small, small business owners alive. But Governor Lamont is concerned that there's no aid for state or local governments, and he details who is getting the short end of the stick because of it. Finally, uh, some frustration again from all the governors um, as regards support for hospitals, support for small businesses, support for airlines, but no support for state and local government, no support for the teachers and the firemen and the nurses and a lot of people who are on the front lines uh, here in this uh, COVID crisis. Now also an update for small businesses, more loan money from the federal go government that is going to be coming in and uh, small business owners can apply starting at 1030 Monday morning. Dennis.